The James Webb Space Telescope is intended to provide answers to many of the fundamental issues that have occupied astronomers for the better part of the last half century. It's one of the costliest engineering projects ever attempted, costing $10 billion. However, for it to realize its full potential, which is nothing less than rewriting the history of the universe and reshaping humanity's place within it, many factors must come together perfectly. Today, I'm going to tell you about the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be able to detect alien life on exoplanets. The colorful surroundings around the JWST facility serve as a constant reminder of the Space Telescope's goal to assist scientists in their efforts to comprehend how we got to where we are today. It explains how, out of the tangle of molecules, stars, galaxies, black holes, and planets that make up the universe, the components essential for life arose and came together to form this place we name Earth. Is it possible that the circumstances that supported this flourishing, loud environment are typical among the millions, if not billions, of rocky planets that make up the galaxy's population? Before its mission is completed, JWST will observe hundreds, maybe thousands of exoplanets to find answers to these questions. When it looks up, it will see terrible lava planets, complete with molten surfaces that whip around the sun in minutes. It will analyze planets that have somehow managed to escape the disastrous death of their stars and are presently orbiting the stellar corpses left behind. It will examine through the atmospheres of gas giant planets, look for newborn worlds among the dusty disks that attach to young stars, and stare at a handful of small, rocky worlds that may or may not be comparable to Earth. Only a fraction of the hundreds of exoplanets that have been discovered in our galaxy matches the planets that have been discovered in our solar system. One of the most significant findings in the area of exoplanets has been the realization that the variety of planets around the galaxy much surpasses the diversity of planets inside our solar system and interested in understanding the process that resulted in the Earth becoming a livable habitat. The fact that they have liquid water oceans and oxygen makes them stand out from the rest of the galaxy, or does it seem to be pretty common across the galaxy? But first, JWST must survive a terrifying journey into space, followed by a sequence of events that have astronomers all over the world with excitement. The Solar System Apart from exploring planets beyond our solar system, scientists are interested in learning more about the planet we call home. Webb complements NASA's existing solar system programs, which include stations on the ground, in orbit around the Earth, and deep space, as well as the International Space Station. In particular, Webb's extraordinary enhancements in sensitivity and resolution will allow us to develop a more complete picture of the objects in our solar system by combining data from a variety of wavelengths and a variety of sources. As well as Mars and the larger planets, Webb will also look at minor planets like Pluto and Eris, as well as the smaller things in our solar system, including asteroids, comets, and Kuiper Belt objects. Using Webb, scientists will be able to better comprehend the trace organics present in Mars's atmosphere, as well as to conduct research that will assist to confirm the results of the Mars rovers and landers. With Webb's views of the outer solar system, researchers will be able to combine them with Cassini's Saturn data to get a more accurate picture of the seasonal weather on our large gas planets in the outer solar system. There are certain characteristics in the spectra of asteroids and other tiny things in our solar system that Earth-based observatories are blind to, but Webb will be able to detect. Webb and Exoplanets The first solar system discovered outside of our own did not include the main sequence star, like our own, but rather a pulsar, which is a fast-rotating star. Since then, scientists have discovered hundreds of exoplanets in every kind of star system possible, and they are continuing to focus their efforts on finding smaller and more Earth-like planets soon. One of the primary applications of the James Webb Space Telescope will be to examine the atmospheres of exoplanets to look for the building blocks of life in other worlds. Webb, on the other hand, is an infrared telescope. What role does this play in the research of exoplanets? To investigate exoplanets, one way Webb will use is the transit method, which means that it will search for dimming of the light from a star when the planet passes in front of us and the star. 
This is referred to as a transit by astronomers. The collaborative effort with ground-based telescopes will assist in measuring the mass of the planets using the radial velocity technique, which involves measuring the stellar vibration caused by the gravitational grip of a planet. After that, Webb will perform spectroscopy of the planet's atmosphere using the space telescope. Webb will also be equipped with coronagraphs, which will allow for direct imaging of exoplanets that are in close enough proximity to blazing stars. A point on the surface of an exoplanet, rather than a magnificent panorama, would represent the picture of the planet, but scientists have learned a great lot about it by analyzing that place. This comprises its color, the changes between winter and summer, vegetation, rotation, and weather patterns, among other characteristics. What is the procedure for doing this? Spectroscopy again is the solution. Spectroscopy Spectroscopy is the study of measuring the intensity of light at various wavelengths, and it is as simple as that. This kind of data is represented graphically in the form of spectra, and they are essential in understanding the composition of exoplanet atmospheres. When a planet passes in front of a star, the starlight is reflected into space only through the environment of the planet. The planet may possess sodium in its atmosphere, which would result in an absorption line in the star spectrum. Because various elements and molecules absorb light at different energies, scientists can tell where in a spectrum they could expect to detect the signature of sodium, methane, or water, if any of these elements or molecules are in the atmosphere. When it comes to describing the atmospheres of these exoplanets, why is an infrared telescope essential? The advantage of doing infrared observations is that it is at infrared wavelengths that molecules in the atmospheres of exoplanets have the greatest number of spectral characteristics. This is why making infrared observations is advantageous. The ultimate objective is to locate a planet with an atmosphere that is comparable to Earth. The Milky Way's Many Planets the trip to the launch pad for the James Webb Space Telescope has been troubled by technical delays and growing costs, as has been the case with many of humanity's most ambitious research and engineering endeavors. The title of the telescope has been the subject of debate in recent years. However, if everything goes according to plan, this flagship telescope, which is regarded to be the successor to the legendary Hubble Space Telescope, should provide a veritable feast of scientific discoveries. The Infrared Space Telescope will observe the world mainly in infrared light. Its extraordinary sensitivity will enable the observatory's gigantic golden eye to detect the faint, remote signals left by the earliest stars and galaxies that filled the galaxy once it is massive golden eye is fully operational. Because of its sensitivity, the telescope will also be able to directly see alien life planets, even though no one could have anticipated using the telescope for this purpose when it was first created. In 1989, when the JWST project was first envisioned, planets circling other stars had not yet been identified. Although planet formation theories predicted the existence of other such worlds, it wasn't until 1992 that the first exoplanets were discovered when the observatory was founded. I don't believe we ever mentioned the possibility of exoplanets. The discovery of exoplanets happened later when we began to realize that there were in fact exoplanets. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, have you heard about the new insane starship update from Elon Musk? If that sounds interesting to you, click the video on your screen and I will see you there.